So I'm about to build a crank. Um, I did get a reply from the company where I bought the shells from and uh, apparently they already knew that there was no hole drilled in them. So I did quite nicely say it would have been nice just to even put a note in with the spares that the hole needs to be drilled or uh, drill the holes before you send them out because it only took about 30 seconds to uh, to drill the three millimeter hole so there we are so we're ready now to uh, build the crank so I've cleaned everything I've cleaned all the galleries out I've airlined all the way through everything so all nice and clear so we're ready to go for the counterweights or the flywheels obviously they'll only go on one way there's my impossible to remove without doing more damage uh, blank for the debris trap again all nice and clean inside so uh, it obviously only goes on one way so here we go So I need a torch just to look down for the alignment and uh, we weigh out. So there we go. So we're somewhere close, not too bad, so the bolts and the holes have all been cleaned out, all the old um, Loctite has been removed and boy oh boy these were tight, very tight coming out. So I don't think this has ever been stripped before, so obviously in 19... 68 or 69 or whatever the um, you know the difference between stud lock and nut lock or whatever I think they've been a little overzealous with the um, with the Loctite but hey oh all good so let's give it a gentle tap I can find my Copper face mallet somewhere hiding. Yeah, so they're all going to start, no problem. So let's put some screw lock, stud lock, whatever you want to call it, on there. I'm only going to put it on the threads, although when I took these out, they were absolutely lathered, lathered in the stuff. So, 
and I was quite concerned that I was going to do some damage um, getting them out. Do with that still was so tight. What a way. So I've, I couldn't find a torque setting for them anywhere. I've got a couple of manuals for these. Also, I've got the Rupert uh, Ratio um, engine manual. I couldn't find anything in that either. Um, but, like everything, <laughs> we're in this period, in the late 60s, early 70s, um, I left school, I think, in 1969. So we had the uh, we had to know the metric system and the imperial system, and because uh, we were going through the transition of the changeover. So we've got not only have we got a couple of metric bits on this bike, we've also got Whitworth, we've also got BSF cycle thread, and these bolts. They're actually um, UNF, so they've got a, they're a special. So they've got um, a five sixteenths head and a um, a three eighths UNF body. Oh, one thing I need to do before these go in because. We've got the oil feed, <coughs> or the sludge trap, or the debris trap, or the centrifuge collector, or whatever you want to call it, in this thing. <coughs> it does say, or in the, I think it's in the Rupert Ratio, that we should really put a little bit of sealant just around the faces of where these things go together so around this hole here which is the um, sludge trap debris trap or whatever so I'm going to put a bit of permatex on there and the reason I'm going to use permatex is it's an anaerobic sealant so any that's not actually um, gone any that's gone into the hole if you like will have uh, won't set because it only sets in the absence of oxygen and anaerobic so if anything does go into the oil gallery it's not going to set and it will actually just dilute with the oil and um, it's not going to come out of there, is it? <coughs> and by loop, be diluted in into the engine oil and just washed away. So I'm only going to put a, a smidge in around the outside. I would imagine half of it will be scraped off when I'm. When I knock this back on, I'll push it on because it's a, a really good fit. Anyway, the gesture is there, so we're off. So we'll go again. Still got the Loctite on there, stud lock, whatever you want to call it. And all, uh, like I say, I couldn't find the, uh, I couldn't find any torque settings for this either. So what I've done, I've got a a thread chart, torque wrenches for particular threads, 
and um, there's three grades one is the um, soft stuff which would be like um, an 8.8 .8 quality if it was in metric um, the other is 10.9 if it was in metric which is a semi hard stud bolt and then you've got a 12.9 which is the high tensile well I don't think the high tensile so I'm going for the mid-range setting and it comes out at 31 newton meters on my chart anyway um, for medium tensile 3 8 UNF going to equally pull these and then with my torque wrench my special tool so I can see what I'm doing at close range. So I'm going for a medium setting according to my chart. 3 8 UNF is going to be 31.9 foot pounds. So there's thirty one thirty two foot pounds and we're on Imperial obviously sockets because it's a UNF half inch three eighths but a half inch head like I say and just progressively do it. I've got soft jaws in the vise by the way, I'm not pulling up on, uh, on the face of any of the journals on the crank. Right, click, happy, click, happy. And that is one side done. So let's spin him over. And similar. Got a bit of let's wipe that permatex away. Beauty. So right way round. Yep. Roughly start where I need to be. Bit 
tight to this side. Somewhere around there, quick alignment check with my torch. Ooh. Just want a bit of um, shifting that way, a tad. A tad more. Down a tad. See how that goes. Just try a bolt first before I put any Loctite on. Beauty. Beauty. Yep. Okay, so we are ready to rock. Stud lock. Last one. Half inch AF. Heads. So again, I'm just going to nip first as I go around. Got to go for my thirty two foot pounds. So we're just going around first just to equalize the load. Okay, and off we go. One. Two. Three.
four. Done. So next is the uh, con rod. So we just have to make sure when you're fitting the con rod that uh, we fit the oil fee. Obviously, a drilled shell you need. You fit the um, lube side or the side where it's going to spray onto the um, clutch side or the drive side. So that's going to go that way on. So the other thing that you need to do is lag it with oil. So I'm going to go and give it a bit of oil on the journal. Bit of a... I'm not going to feed that way, am I? Because the hole's on the other side. <laughs> I'll lag the journal. I've already blown these through, by the way, which I think I did say. So lag that, lag this as well. Plenty of oil on there. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a tad, even though they, they are locking steel lock nuts, not nylocks, I'm going to put a spot of um, Loctite on these as well. So the cap only goes on one way. So this side up which is going to feed the um, feed this bearing but also you go tang to tang while well, they are marked it actually is center punched so I did mark it before I removed it but um, they go tang to tang so when you fit these shells obviously they'll only go in one way so they fit tang to tang, but they, I did also mark them centre punch to centre punch. And again, lag, lag them with oil. And just make sure you are going the right way around, because they're obviously, when they're line bored or machined, they're... Um, They'll only go one way. And we're on. So now, <coughs> the nuts. And these are uh, not nylock, they're like a steel lock nut. So they have a slit in them, halfway through, and a slit sideways and the top's kind of peeled so it gives a bit of an interference fit when it gets down to the area where they are now we're on a different size again we're on um, quarter width for these because these are BSF on oh, no, the cycle thread sorry but obviously they've got um, width with head sizes so we'll just gently pull them first. And we're ready to torque. And these settings are in the manual. And here's a bit of paper I scribbled on before. So they're 25 to 27 foot pounds. So we go in because we can 27. So back down. There's my 25. 26, 27. Quarter width. And here we go.
one. Two clicks. Nice. So I've um, still got to fit the inner race of the driven bearing, drive side bearing. So if you've got to spin the crank over. <coughs> There's the soft jaw. So we're on this side. It's now going to give me an opportunity to fill the oil gallery up with oil as well. Yeah, she's running in quite nicely. Proves that all my galleries are nice and free. Yeah, I did actually blast them with this stuff as well. Not that one, the um, carb, carb cleaner. Right, the bearing. So I'm just not happy with that fit. Maybe because I'm putting it on the wrong side. <laughs> okay, we were right before actually. It's the other side, isn't it? This is the uh, timing side. This is the drive side, and I'm going to be pouring the oil back out that I've just put in. This is the one. The bearings are slightly different sizes so it will be a, a drive fit on here. Bottom down. Just get a punch for that. And we're down. Okay, the crank is built. Nice. Feels nice. Beauty. Happy with that. So the next is the crankshaft fitted into the crankcase. So that may happen today. It's uh, coffee time for me. So um, that's it for a short while. Next up, crankcases on the bench, crankshaft fitted into the crankcases. See you in a bit. <laughs>